This is Corporal Hicks. And Rich Top. And you're watching part three of uh, the AVP Galaxy Let's Play of Alien Blackout. There he is. Stompy Jr. It really does look like um, Stompy, the model. So much I think it is just the same model, just not quite as high fidelity as it was in isolation. Still looks really good, but when you when you see him up close, um, I don't think you have any videos of, of you dying here as Amanda, but if the alien nabs you, uh, you get a really good good look at it and the model is is good yeah well so many of the assets do seem like they came straight from isolation I mean the environments do as well um, and the sound stuff but a lot of a lot of products are making use of the you know the sound um, files because the audio dramas use them very extensively the isolation sounds yeah mm. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. You know, Isolation won awards for its sounds, and they were very well-deserved awards. That's true, but when you start hearing the same alien screams over and over again, like, you're like, oh, that's the one from Isolation. Like, you do kind of want them to switch it up a bit. Like, the mm -hmm. aliens sounded different from Alien to Aliens to Alien 3 to Resurrection. They all had very distinct sounds, and just to kind of switch it up, you want those different creative takes on it, so... Yeah, well, Hopefully if they continue the audio dramas, they, they come up with a few more original things. That's something I will agree on, because when it came to River of Pain, that was rooted very much in Aliens. So I, I would have liked to have heard more of Aliens' sound effects in that in that drama. Um, but they are continuing. Apparently there is something coming out this year, which I'm very thankful for, because I absolutely love the dramas. Probably around Alien Day. I would imagine Hopefully so. Hopefully it's the Cold Forge. Yeah, yeah. Or if it's the start of um, the Rage War, the Rage that's, Wars, that's that would be cool too. Yeah, because that means we've got another three coming. So this this was probably one of the more unique maps, I think, because you are not ending it in an elevator. You're ending it in a transit system, like um, again. <laughs> you know what? It's un it's so unfair that we keep comparing it to isolation, but it's so so many things in it that are rooted in isolation yeah. um, well I mean the transit system itself is distinct here it doesn't look exactly like it did in isolation and it, it, I do like those moments where you see movement in the environment if you're watching cameras like you can see the the tram arrive if you're watching it on the camera um, So yeah, even though it did use a lot of Isolation's assets, I still think the environments were distinct enough that it didn't it didn't feel like a ripoff of Isolation, you know? Like, a lot of the, especially the, the mushroom farm that you see later with mm, the, the branching veins, very like unique that, to that this. was super cool. Now, I, I think, more than anything, it just, it's, it's a lot of visual continuity, and I like that, because one of the issues I have with, like, some of the comics is that, it doesn't look anything like any of the films. You know, none of the tech or none of the environments or ships look like they belong in Alien or Aliens. So I like seeing those similar environments. I think it it works better for you know the overall sense of cohesiveness with the with the releases. And and they've done a better job of it these last like four or five years. So I say keep it up. I mean, it's going to get to a point where we do start to want to see a bit more uniqueness, and this game does have it. Like you know, like like you mentioned, the the Farmer Labs level. Um, oh, he's moving quick. Yes, he had something there. Sometimes he just takes off. How long do you keep the characters hidden typically? Because I always like struggled with that. I was like, how long before I tell them to come out? When I thought it moved off. Was basically it. So like I've got Cause... those those two hidden at the top because they're waiting for the tram to come. Um, Yutani just has to get up there while Thorncroft does his thing. Go there now. Did you beat the game um, with less than all survivors first? No, I got to the last mission with just two left, and I was finding it really hard. So I just restarted it completely. Sometimes I think they pick them up when they're in the vents. So yeah, he dropped down from the vents into this area as response to the um, 
tram arriving. The tram, uh, but you could also see the the alert markers while he was in the vents. Go go go! Oh, and just for reference's sake, I don't think we've mentioned I'm actually playing this on the PC. I'm playing this on an Android emulator. That's why you see my mouse flicking around. And personally, I this this was my preferred format. I know it was built for the the tablets and the phones, and it works on the tablets and the phones. But I just, I don't know, it, it played smoother on here. I would love to see an enhanced version for PC. Um, I know we, we've said that you'll hear it if you listen to the podcast we just did about this game when it comes out. But um, you've seen that with some other premium mobile titles like Deus Ex The Fall is one that I referenced there. And it, it can be done in a sense that you up the graphics a little bit. And it's still like a, a lower priced game, you know, but I mean, look look at the Aliens Pinball, right? You can play that on Steam and you can also play that on your phone. Huh. I think I'm, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to distract him there, but it's not working. I do like, I do like that you can distract them. And the only way you can is by opening and closing the doors, right? Yeah, so that that is another thing I, I would have liked to have seen a bit more depth with some of the mechanics. And I think there is such a good potential in this game and in this format. But things like um, uh, vent system, as in in terms of gases, like in the end of Alien, you know, when Ripley's uh, flushing it out the... That always terrified me. Um, <laughs> flushing it out, out the, the shuttle, out the uh, Narcissus. Um the speaker system like in isolation or hell even venting um level um, areas of levels you know uh, with like an airlock or something um it would have been nice to have seen other methods of of managing the alien i really do want to see a sequel or or a you know another version of this i think i really do think <laughs> there's a lot in this At the other end, you can yeah i mean to compare it with another uh, sci-fi horror game that takes place on a space station, you look at the improvements made from Dead Space 1 to Dead Space 2, and it was such a, a good sequel. So I would love to see that too. But for now, this has been Mission 3. I've made it through with all my guys again, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Corporal Hicks. And Ridgetop. Signing off.